I believe the haters were just saying that I would never play your Sporkle quizzes again. Well, tough day to be a hater. Because I put out the call on Twitter. Bring me your most foolish baseball-y quizzes. That's right, we're doing baseball Sporkle quizzes, but not the usual kind. We're going to get a little weird with it. I'll have the quizzes linked in the description below me. You can check those out, play ahead of time, and then come back and see how I do. Or I guess you could watch me play, and then you could play them. But that would be cheating. That would be cheating. We're going to start with a quiz submitted to me by at MLB Feel It, the Austin Hedges truther. This is MLB position players to pitch in 2021. So it's a position players pitching quiz. I got to say, talk about something that has lost all novelty. I absolutely hate it 90% of the time when I see a position player coming in to pitch because they just throw batting practice like each team should just have the designated pitcher who's gonna like actually try okay I just want to see some guy go out there throw high 80s throw low 90s if you if they all pitched in high school let them throw a curveball you know I get that no one's trying to get hurt but still oh my gosh it's just awful it's just awful to watch guys go out there throw batting practice it's just not fun anymore Studying the quiz ahead of time looks like if there's 59 answers possible, I'll have 10 minutes to think about it. I don't imagine I'll use all those 10 minutes. Eh, maybe I will. I can be kind of slow on these things. I think for me, I'm not going to get, like, hung up on it, which means, you know, it starts with giant center fielder. If I can't guess the giant center fielder in a few seconds, I'll just move on to the Met center fielder. Might have to loop back around, but either I'll get it fast or I'll come back around to get it. I can't just get hung up on one that I can't get right and not even get to these and, you know, get to guessing. All right, we're going to do it. Play quiz. Okay, giant center fielder. That could be Mike Yastrzemski. I don't know if he did it. I mean, 2021, it was, I mean, it was at least 10 years ago, so it's tough to say. Uh, did Steven Duggar do it? Did, did uh, well, not Darren Ruff. He's not a center fielder. Did, uh, Mauricio Dubon. Okay, we're going we're gonna to move ahead here. Met center fielder last year. Did Nemo do it? Did they have Lagares last year? No, okay. Not a great start for me. Well, we finally got one. Andrew Knapp of the Phillies. Yeah, they don't usually use like the guys you expect. It's usually just like a bench guy who's not an everyday starter. I see Cubs third baseman. Well, Anthony Rizzo obviously pitched. He's not a third baseman, but he did strike out Freddie Freeman famously. David Peralta pitched. I was looking for Diamondbacks outfielder there, but he's left fielder right there. Ooh, Jordan Luplo got one there. Padre second baseman. I mean, surely Cronenworth, right? I mean, he's one of the few that actually makes sense to pitch. 2021, again, it was eons ago. I mean, at, at least 20 years ago. Oh, Darren Ruff pitched. Good for him. Brewer shortstop, not Willie Adamas. How about Luis Rios? Ooh, nope. Ray center fielder. I mean, that's a slam dunk. Brett Phillips. There's two White Sox shortstops that pitched. None of them are Tim Anderson. Does he play? Okay, we got one. We got one. Lou Uri, did he ever? Uh, did? Nope. Danny Mendick, one of the great baseball names of our time. This is just truly awful. I mean, I'm four minutes in. I've got nine of them. Just truly awful. I got to do, I'll do better with the 2022 quiz, hopefully. Brock Holt pitched. Yeah, I mean, I think he threw one of the slowest pitches of the year. Maybe the slowest. Of course, famously, we all know Williams Astudio pitched which uh, set up the downfall of uh, our good friend, uh, your mean Mercedes. Philly's shortstop, do they let Didi do it? Mm. Mm. Okay, I was typing in Tommy Edmond, and actually got, I'm even not sure how to say his name, but Kai Tom, he was a Rule 5 guy, he bounced around a few teams last year, I think he was on the Pirates as well, maybe that's where he started. Oh, anyways, Tommy Edmond, no. Uh, you'd have to let Charlie Culberson pitch. I mean, yeah. I mean, let him cook. Does Shohei get some love on this? No, no. Stevie Wilkerson, yes. Who got a save? Not, not in 2021. I think it was in 2019. Yeah, it's just a problem. If you can't remember who like the random bench guys were on teams from last year, which it was just last year, you know. But still a fun quiz. I'm really stuck on who that Marlins catcher is down there at the bottom because it's not Wallach, it's not Rob Brantley, it's not Jorge Alfaro, it's not Alex Jackson. I feel like I got, that's enough Marlins catchers to guess, you know. Pujols pitched last year, he pitched this year. What about Molina? Oop. Nope. Okay, Justin Turner, Dodgers third baseman. I mean, that one's pretty straightforward. I don't know why it took me that long. Rays catcher, did Mejia pitch? Okay. Last minute, last minute to get to 16. But I think that's going to be it. 
Okay, so, you know, it felt awful. It felt truly awful. And yet, I mean, I did do better than the average, but I feel like, like, if Giraffe Nick Mark took this quiz, he would definitely do better. I think that's the measuring stick we got to use. Giraffe Nick Mark would definitely do better. What are the bad misses here? I guess Adam Eaton's not a great one. I should have gotten some of these Red Sox second baseman. We've got Marwin, and uh, I think later we've got Christian Royal. Yeah, Aruz. I should have gotten some of those, right? Luis Guillorme. I mean, I love that guy. I love Luis Guillorme. He's like one of my favorite players. Austin Slater. Hate that for me. Kevin Pillar. Hate that for me as well. Oh, wow. And I invoked the name of your mean Mercedes, but never actually guessed him, but he did pitch. Hmm. Crap. Looks like the easiest players I missed were Kevin Pillar and Austin Slater. Or the hardest players I got... Jordan Luplo, Stevie Wilkerson. So definitely not my finest performance, but I think we've got a better quiz for me lined up. All right, this next quiz is from Can You Halos? Can You Halos? Either way, Patrick Sandoval fan. It is MLB. Every game with 20 plus missed calls 2022. So finally, something umpire scorecards related. This is right in my wheelhouse. So obviously I just made a baseball bits about this, but it's been a few weeks since I looked at some of that umpire scorecard stuff. I'm not really sure how much of it I've retained, but hopefully we can get at least a few of these guys. There's a lot of umpires in MLB, and it's not always easy to keep up with the names. All right, without further ado, let's go. Okay, so one of these I'm pretty sure is actually featured in the video. I believe the umpire for that was Andy Fletcher. No, okay, okay. It's gonna be t trickier than I think. I can guess Angel Hernandez, but I'm not actually sure if it's any of any of these are actually Angel Hernandez. Yeah, he's you know he, as bad as that Sunday night baseball was. There there have been ones with more missed calls. I saw this scorecard not that long ago, but I'm not sure if I can remember who it was. But 26 missed calls. I mean, it's a yikes moment. We'll give a Laz Diaz a guess. Okay, that's one. We'll give CB Buckner a guess. Nope. Okay. About Greg Gibson, the home plate umpire. Mm -mm. Tambolino, Todd Tishner. They aren't even really bad ones. I just guessed them. Trip Gibson. I mean, he's a good one, but it's just an umpire I can remember. Phil Cuzzy. Okay. Was there like a? There's like a Adrian something, or like a Andy Johnson. There's also like an Adrian, not Andrian, there's like an Adrian, uh, what's his name? Ted Barrett, but I feel like he's Deese. No, okay, he had one. Marvin Hudson I don't think would be on this list. Who had the 26 missed calls? I'm sure there's some, some true umpire scorecards heads who are just like screaming the answer at the computer screen right now. The crazy thing is I know I've gotten at least three more of these by now if I'd have taken it like right after I did the baseball bits. I mean, I probably wrote down some of these games at some point just making the graphics. Oh, it's, uh, is it, is, is it Adrian Fletcher? Ah, just, I'm losing it. There's like a Andy Fletcher, Andy Johnson, Adrian something, Fletcher, I don't know. I mean, didn't I literally cover this game in the video? Like, who was that? Chad Whitson is a name I remember from the video, but I don't imagine. No, he, he wouldn't miss 20 calls. This one is going to drive me truly insane if I don't get it. Oh, yeah, the, uh, yeah, I, I tried, I did the joke about... It was Jeff Nelson. Hmm. So I'm sitting at four of nine. Four of nine. I wouldn't be happy with four of nine. I think I'd be happy with five of nine. I mean, that would be the majority. Do we have a... I mean, I don't even know if he still umpires. Or there's like... I feel like there's multiple Wendell stats, but... But no. I could just guess some of the good guys. I mean, just to get some names out there. The chances of them screwing up 20 calls, like nearly impossible i'm just gonna type in some names of some guys that are actually pretty good at this no and they're not gonna be on here because why would they be because they're good at it gosh who missed the 26 i mean that's a that's a rough one that's one where it may not even be all the umpires fault maybe a calibration thing with the strike zone who knows okay one more name that i actually do remember coming up a decent amount gabe morales okay we got him we got our five. I think I'm going to give up on the quiz. I think we're going to see who missed the 26. Again, it wasn't even that long ago. Let's see. Doug Eddings. We missed two Doug Eddings games. Paul Emmel. Paul Clemens. So two Dougs and two Pauls. 
All right, looking at the quiz stats here, only eight plays. I'm sure that's just people who saw it in my Twitter replies, but half of us got Laz Diaz and Ted Barrett. Then Jeff Nelson, Phil Cuzzy, looks like three of the eight got that, including me. And then Gabe Morales. I might be the only person who took this quiz so far and got Gabe Morales, so there you go. A 56% score versus 30% average, but honestly, we need more of you to take the quiz before we can really understand how I did on some of these. But great quiz, really enjoyed it. Very foolish baseball y, so understood the assignment. Pretty stoked about this one. It's from Addy at AddyCat23. This is going to be the worst fielding seasons in MLB by fielding runs on baseball reference. Depending on what year that is, it'll be either total zone or defensive run save. But here we go. Since integration, the worst fielding seasons in MLB. All right, here we go. Worst fielding seasons in MLB since integration, 1947. Let's get started. Okay, so the worst season is negative 43 fielding runs. In this case, it's going to be defensive run saved because it's 2009, it's Washington. I think I know who it is. I think it's Adam Dunn. It is Adam Dunn. So there you go, Adam Dunn, the worst fielding season by at least sort of the more advanced defensive metrics in MLB history, at least since integration. Now, what I'm really not sure about is the next one. Is That's negative 37 fielding runs, 2010 Dodgers. I mean, is that going to be like, can we get like some, some Hanley action? Okay, we do get some Hanley action. It's not 2010 Dodgers, but it is 2007 Florida Marlins. Uh, Henry Ramirez, in terms of the metrics at shortstop, he had some he had some years to forget. This one, negative 34.3 fielding runs, 1999 Colorado. I'm pretty sure I know exactly what this one is. This is a pretty well known season in which a hitter, um, you know, hit really well with good raw numbers, but they had awful defensive metrics. And then the cores in 1999, the steroid year, it's just kind of crushed like their OPS plus. I'm pretty sure this is the Dante Bichette year. Father of Bo Bichette. 2007 Milwaukee. I mean, I could I could hazard a guess of Prince Fielder for that. No. Okay. Oh, you know what? I've talked about it in the video before. That's Ryan Braun when he was playing third base as a rookie, right? Yeah. Yeah. And that was not, that was not a great fit for him. And then next we have negative 32 fielding runs Texas. One guy that the defensive metrics never loved, but of course I loved, I really enjoyed to watch as a player, Michael Young. Michael Young, I'm going to guess that's him. Yep. We've also got negative 30 runs from 2012 Milwaukee, interestingly enough, but but no Prince Fielder. I'm sorry, Prince Fielder. I should have respected you. Negative 29.2 fielding runs, 1993 Minnesota. Herbeck. Bucket. Ooh, Kirby. Well, I mean, I guess, was he getting... To the end of his career by then? I don't want to be insensitive. This one's kind of cracking me up. Negative 28.8 fielding runs, 1977 White Sox. Okay, I don't blame you if you look this up. Okay, so I'm, let's be honest, I'm probably not going to get that one. 2009, Minnesota and Oakland. I mean, I mean, I think that's got to be like, just like a veteran type player, but who? 2005 Yankees, I'm now skipping to the bottom here. 2005 Yankees, negative 27 fielding runs. I feel I feel a little maybe Alfonso Soriano on that. Nope. Okay, well, apologies to him. Uh, then who then who could oh well, yeah, that makes sense. The most recent year up here is 2018 Kansas City, and there's also 2017 Detroit, each with negative 28 fielding runs. Would it have been like a Victor Martinez deal with Detroit? No? Okay. Apologies to him. Uh, Castellanos, right? I mean, that's got to be it for Detroit, maybe? Okay, yeah. Yeah, he's... That, the outfield metrics never loved him. 2018 KC, I mean, I don't... I'm not entirely sure, to be honest with you. Is it possible that one of these is like Brian Giles? I don't think of him as like a miserable defender, but... Just seeing some teams in years that eh, maybe... No... Ryan Klesko? I mean, he... No. Okay. Man, who's that 2018 KC? That was not that long ago. I mean, it was 20 years ago, but it wasn't that long ago. Ooh, it... It wouldn't be Salvi, would it? No. When Baseball Reference does defensive run save, it doesn't include the framing element, yada, yada, yada. I never circled back around to 2010 Dodgers. I mean, is that a, is that a Matt Kemp? Yeah. Probably, probably center field year for him. We've got a 2010 Kansas City as well. Uh, I mean, any chance? No, I mean, he probably didn't even play the field enough. Starting to run out of time here at 2 minutes, 22 seconds. 2007 White Sox. I've put, like, 
absolutely zero thought into that. That was only two years after they won the World Series. Nope. 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 I'm just naming guys I can kind of remember being White Sox around that era, not necessarily bad fielders. Ooh, ooh, give it to me. Yes, okay, that's 10. Oh, I would love to get one more just to get the majority. Who's that 2018 KC? That's gonna, that one's gonna mm, upset me. 2012 Milwaukee, ooh, um, I'm begging it, I'm begging it, I'm begging for it. Okay, that's 11, I'm okay, I'm okay. I got the majority of them at least. I'm gonna run out of time here at 11 out of 20. Let's see who I missed. Okay, 1997 Padres, Chris Gomez. Ooh, I mean, missing Gary Sheffield there, that's that's a bad look. I should have known that. I should have been aware of that. Ooh, Orlando Cabrera, interestingly enough. That was the 2009 Minnesota Twins slash Oakland Athletic. Alan Bannister, yep, I never would have gotten that in a million years. Uh, Jose Guillen, that's interesting. Joe Carter, a guy I knew, didn't have the nicest of fielding metrics, but... I wouldn't have been able to tell you that Joe Carter played for the Padres in 1990. Alcides Escobar, wow, okay, negative 28 fielding runs. That I, I I should have come up with that. I didn't. I'm surprised by that. Brad Hopp, 2008 Rockies. I think if you'd have given me 10 more minutes, I could have gotten to Brad Hopp. And then in 2010 KC, it was Unieski Betancourt. 55% for me. Looks like the average is 42%. Let's check in to see how everybody else did on this quiz. Orlando Cabrera and Gary Sheffield, those were the players that I missed that the most people got. I got Castellanos and Kirby Puckett and Ricky Weeks, but I didn't really get the obscure guys like Alcides Escobar. I didn't I didn't get the super obscure guys necessarily on this one, but there we go. 55% on this one, 11 out of 20. Average score well, actually might be 41%, not 42%. Really fun quiz though. Definitely enjoyed it. Definitely interested in this one from Carter Hud at Carter Hud blog. This is line drive stat cast home runs. This is basically just a quiz about guys hitting lasers. These are home runs in the stat cast era under 360 feet, launch angle under 20 degrees, exit velocity over 110 miles per hour. These are just home runs. They got out of the park quickly. They kind of flew with a very low trajectory. They're line drive home runs. All right, let's give it a go. New York Yankees outfielder 2021. I mean, it's got to be Judge or Stanton. We're going to guess Judge. It's Judge. Judge did it twice. Let's go ahead and guess Stanton. I don't even know if there's any more Yankees on here. There is. Okay, there we go. Judge Stanton. Let's go ahead and guess Sanchez. Just get all the top power, guys, just in terms of the raw exit velocities. Okay. Chicago White Sox first baseman 2017, Jose Abreu. Okay. Padres third baseman 2021, May Machado. Philadelphia Phillies infielder 2021. Hmm, it's just listed as infielder. Isn't that curious? Reese Hoskins, infielder. So this is someone who played multiple infield positions for them. Huh. Uh, Michael Franco? No. Did he even play for them in 2021? I don't think so. Gene Segura. Interesting. Very interesting. Not, not a name I was expecting to see. Dodgers outfielder 2017. Bellinger? Mm, Pollock? Mm, all right, I'm going to skip this one and maybe also this one for now. Let's go Oakland, third baseman, 2019, Matt Chapman. Yeah. Brewers outfielder, 2018, Christian Yelich. Hope so. Nope. Mm-hmm. Hmm. I swear, some of these teams and these positions, I'm getting, I'm getting, I'm getting Corey Dickerson vibes. Nope. Um, Ray's outfielder was, was, was Lomo an outfielder? Let's guess, let's guess Lomo. I don't think that's you. I, no, 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 no. Come on, Bailey. We're going to try this column over here. Angels DH. I mean, it could have been just Trout as a DH, right? Nope. Uh, Pujols as a DH. Nope. I mean, I don't know. I, I mean, I'm so stupid. I, I shouldn't even be allowed to live, quite frankly. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. is definitely that first baseman for Toronto. I mean, he is honestly, he is probably the king of the line drive home run, whether it's uh, rated that way on StatCast or not. He's just, it's a laser show. Ray, second baseman, 2021. One of my favorite players, Brandon Lau. Pirates, infielder, 2019. Infielder is such a, it's an interesting choice of words. Gene Segura got out here and he's sort of sticking out like a sore thumb. So could it be like, uh, I mean, no, I mean, that wouldn't make any sense. 
Ah, okay, yeah. I almost forgot he existed, to be honest with you. Rangers first baseman 2019. This is going to be one that I don't get and then just feel stupid about. Orioles first baseman 2021. Hmm, oh, well. Uh, okay. We ran out of this quiz with two Mariners. We've got outfielder 2021 and catcher 2022. Okay, it's not Jared Kelnick. They've really revamped their outfield. I don't remember too much about who played for them, honestly, in 2021. Catcher in 2022, I mean, that could be... That could be... Ugh. Oh, what about a uh, OTP legend? Cal? Raleigh? Yeah, makes sense. I think this is the part where the self-loathing starts to kick in a little bit. About a uh, Puig for the Dodgers outfielder. Nope. Remember him? Remember Yasiel Puig? Remember that guy? Rangers first baseman 2019. Hmm. Oh, uh... Yeah, Ronald Guzman. Okay, I'm thinking... I got a minute left here. I'm thinking 2021 Mariners outfield. That's gonna be Mitchell! It's not Mitchell. What do I do? <laughs> uh, oh, uh, 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 I mean... Nope. Oh, well, I'm... I'm not really sure what to do. Also, Dodgers outfielder 2017. That one's, I mean, I'm frustrated by that one. That team was, that team was in a World Series. Uh, any chance it's Kike? Nope. Chris Taylor? Uh-uh. Not I, says the fly. All right, I'm out of time. This is, I'm embarrassed. 1421, that's a bad showing on my part. All right, Jock. I mean, it's just awful. This is bad. Some bad misses here. These misses I'm okay with. I'm okay with missing Steven Sousa. I'm okay with missing Keon Broxton. I'm okay with missing Dwight Smith Jr., Jose Marmalejos. But, I mean, Jock Peterson, got to get that. Odubel, got to get that. Ryan Braun, definitely got to get that. I mean, what am I thinking here? What am I doing? What am I doing with my life? Do you remember how it took me, like, 20 seconds to get Otani and, I guess, like, three guys ahead of him? These are the kind of things that can happen when you record past midnight. Although, I will say, Ron Guzman, Chungo Gong, like, these are, these are decent gets. These are decent gets. I'll give myself some credit for those. This one really caught my eye from Rory at Chris Bassett, Resurgence Bandwagon, MLB Sabermetric Table Setters 2021 Update. I'll explain what that means right now. So what he calls sabermetric table setters are players that had a high on base percentage, at least 400, and also had at least six base running runs from fan graphs. So these are basically guys that would be your sort of dream leadoff hitters. Not all of them hit leadoff at the time, you know, especially in the early days of baseball when lineups weren't always constructed in the most efficient way. But these are basically good leadoff hitters on base percentage of 400, also really good at running the bases. Let's see how many of them we can get. Hopefully we can get a lot of them. We start off with 1949 Philly. I mean, is it like a, is it a Richie, is it a Richie Ashburn? Okay, that's one of those, you know, I mean, he's a Hall of Famer, he's a pretty big deal player, but it's like, it's not the easiest to get. I, I won around 1948, 1949 Brooklyn, that is super easy. Okay, and then there wasn't one until the 70s. We had some, we have some big red machine action here. I'm sure a lot of these are Joe Morgan, possibly all of them. Holy, okay. Well, guys, you heard it here first. Joe Morgan, really good at baseball. 1977 Oakland, 405 on the on base, 6.9 on the base running. Mr. October himself. Okay, now Ricky's gonna be on here a bunch, so we'll just go ahead and do that. Yeah, that's a that's a lot of Ricky action. Seeing a lot of 80s Expos action, which is making me think of Andre Dawson. Ooh, no, not Andre Dawson. Oh well then, well then obviously it's Tim Raines. I mean Tim Raines is. He's basically a little bit of a Ricky Henderson light, but I mean, incredible player in his own right. Who's this 77 Oakland? Hmm. I see 93, 94 Cleveland. Uh, could that be Kenny Lofton? Yeah, good for him. I'm not sure if I realized he had seasons with 400 on base percentage. That's crazy impressive considering all the other facets of his game. I'm realizing I don't have as much time on this quiz, so I'm going to try to work a little bit quicker. Craig Biggio... Uh, Bobby Abreu, 2005 Pittsburgh. Like, is that going to be Brian Giles? We tried to guess him last time. Nope. 2007 Mets, David Wright. 2007 Yankees, Derek 
Jeter, Alex Rodriguez, 2008 Rockies. That's a lot of base running runs. 10.4. Who did that? Tulo? No. No, no, no. Oh, could it be... That's a lot of base running runs for Matt Holiday. Good lord. Hanley Ramirez got him. 2008 Astros. Lance Berkman. All right. 2013 Angels. I think we know who that is. Also 2016 and 2019. 2013 Pittsburgh. I think I know who that is as well. 2018 Boston. 2019 Milwaukee. And then there were three. 77 Oakland. 92 Toronto. 2005 Pittsburgh. Jason Bay. Okay. 92 Toronto. 90, 77 Oakland. I got two minutes to come up with it. The pressure's on. These were such great teams too. It's not like they were like unmemorable teams. 77 Oakland, 92 Toronto. This is killing me. This is killing me, guys. John Olrude? No. Oh, I'm running out of time. I don't think I'm going to get all these. Tony Fernandez? No. All right. Roberto Alomar? Okay. Should have gotten that. He's a Hall of Famer. Should have gotten that. All right. Mitchell Page? I mean... Way to go, Mitchell Page. I had no idea. I had absolutely no idea. Roberto Alomar, that, Roberto Alomar, that's a miss. But, I mean, Mitchell Page. I mean, that's one of those, at least I can live with missing Mitchell Page. And here is Mitchell's baseball reference page. See what I did there? There you go. A rookie of the year, runner-up. What an incredible season this is for Mitchell Page. A 300, 400, 500 slash line, 154 OPS plus as a rookie. 600 plate appearances, 508 Bs, 6 war, and then just... Nothing. That's crazy. That's that's a crazy career for Mitchell Page. Roberto Alomar, that's just a dumb, dumb, dumb whiff. Mitchell Page, though, 12.7% of people who took this quiz got Mitchell Page. I'm very impressed by that. Very impressed by the people who took this quiz. Roberto Alomar, big dumb, dumb. That's my bad. Um, but yeah, I mean, I got I got the rest. I got I got Richie Ashburn. I got Jason Bay. I got Matt Holliday. I got Lance Berkman. These are guys I was just a little bit surprised in terms of the base running runs. The easiest players to get were Trout and Betts and McCutcheon. Okay, this one is a very foolish baseball lead. This is from at Melodroit Antoine. Position players with a Mathis, but also at least one baseball reference war since 1995. If you're a real foolish baseball head, you'll know that a Mathis is any season with a 60 OPS plus or lower and at least 200 plate appearances. In this case, the requirement is also added of a reference war of at least one, and this is since 1995. Basically, the question here is, hey, who had a great defensive season and hit like garbage? That's basically the question here. Great defensive season, bad hitting. Gonna have to be a great defensive season, specifically from, like, catcher most likely, possibly shortstop, possibly second base center field, but catcher most likely outcome here. There's a couple names coming to mind, but after that, I think I'm in deep, deep trouble. And the thing is with the hints, I'm basically getting nothing. I'm just getting the years that they happen, but I'm not getting the team or the position. You've given me nothing to work with here, so we'll just see what I can do. Now, one thing that is curious is I see a 2021 on there. That's going to get me thinking. But you know what? When I think of someone who could have done this, right? Who could have mathist, gotten at least one baseball reference where I think of like Brendan Ryan. Yeah. It's, this ain't my first rodeo. I also think of like a Jose Molina. No. Okay. Oh, is the is the 2021 going to be Simba? <laughs> well, uh, not much I can say there. Is it possible that Jeff Mathis himself did this? No, he did not. Just type in a couple guys who I know had a big, like, defensive run save type seasons. I don't think they mathis while doing it. I can think of just anything like like good, like, scrappy second baseman types. What about, like, uh, Austin Hedges? Nope. Well, we're at 3 out of 14, and we pretty much had that right from the get-go, so not much progress since then to speak of. Ooh, I mean, could, could, could we have a Juan Lagares? All right, I felt kind of good about that one. Ooh, what about like uh, like a Jack Wilson? <laughs> All right. 
I know my early 2010s glove for shortstops. I, mean, I could guess Kevin Pillar, but again, I just don't think, you know, the bad enough offensive seasons. I'm really lacking on the catchers here. I feel like that's the most common position, and yet I've only guessed shortstops. I mean, it's like, who were the glove only catchers of, like, my childhood, you know? Uh, any any hope for, like, uh, Adam Everett? <laughs> oh, man. Okay. <laughs> well, that's five. I just get so tickled every time I guess one. 2018. I mean, that wasn't that long ago. Who could have been in 2018? I'm just lacking in the catcher's department right now. Well, I've got 20 seconds left. I got five of them so far. Really four players because it was Brendan Ryan twice. Really curious to see who pops up here. Two, one. Where'd I miss? Billy Hamilton. I got to get Billy Hamilton. I got to respect myself. You know what's awful? The name Pokey Reese 100% came to mind and I just never typed him in. I was like, Pokey Reese? And I just never, I just never got around to typing it in. Uh, we've got the line of Shields Jr., We've got Billy Hamilton. We've got Zach Cozart here. There's a couple of Reds. Clint uh, Barnes, Pokey Reese, Felix Martinez, Darren Lewis, Terry. I was never going to get any of these. No chance I get any of these. These, I mean, the I mean, I should have guessed Pokey Reese. I mean, it, it literally came to mind. I don't know why I didn't guess it. This is, this is stupid for me not to miss. These, I can live with. So five out of 14, that was 36%. Looks like Adam Everett, Jack Wilson were the obscure players I got. No one has gotten any of these guys, but I think there's only there's only been three people who played this quiz. So hopefully you played this quiz before the video came back compared to me. Did you do better? Did you do worse? Let me know in the comments. The only way you can truly wrap things up was with a totally baseball-related quiz submitted by MinSub4. That's Mitchell, Countries of the World. We gotta do it. It's Sporkle, Countries of the World. Let's go. There's 197 countries in the world, and surely I'll be able to name them all in 15 minutes. So let's, let's give it a go. I'm gonna kind of work like... Starting here, and I'll go down here, and then I'll go here, and I did it. All right, you'll see. We'll see what else. You'll see. You'll see. Uh, let's just go. All right, gonna start hitting South America now. Some of these are countries that baseball players come from. Sorry, Colombia. I know I did that stupid American thing. All right, I guess I'll hit Europe now. We'll start. Well, let's do Iceland. Greenland's not a country. Yeah, you like that full name for Bosnia? You gotta type that one in. You can't just type in Bosnia. Okay, Baltic states, uh, Lithuania, Latvia, Estonia. I can work my way into Asia, I think. Start to get some of the stands. Manistan, these are hard to spell. Some of them, Kurgur, Stan, Kurgur, Kur, Kurgur, Kurgur, Stan, Kurgur. I don't know how I got that. All right, we're going to do kind of around the, like the Levant right here, I guess. Is that how you pronounce it? Levant? I don't know. You know what I'm talking about. Are we recognizing it? I don't think we are. Oh, we are. Um, we're going to work our way here and kind of through the rest of the Middle East and then East Asia. Okay. Uh, North Korea, South Korea, Japan, China, Vietnam, uh, Thailand, Cambodia, Laos. Singapore, Hong Kong. Nope, we're not recognizing that. Uh, Malaysia. I don't know what's a country and what isn't. Oh, but Taiwan. We'll recognize that. I don't really want to ruffle any feathers. It's just the quiz. All right, we got five minutes. Let's take a crack at Africa. So there's Congo, right? Or is it the Congo? Well, there's DRC. Okay. Is there like a... Okay, I know there's Sudan, and but there's also South Sudan, right? Right? South Africa, and then the one that's in South Africa. At 125, at 140 remaining. I mean, how could you forget the one called Djibouti? Oh, definitely Texas. No? Oh, and we're out of time. Okay, I was able to name 64% of the countries of the world. 127 out of 197. I... I should do better than that. I should do better than that. Uh, checking our quiz stats here. Easiest country I missed. Switzerland. I swear I typed in Switzerland. I swear I typed that in. Panama, Jamaica. Look, if you're from one of these countries, I, okay, so what happened with Dominican Republic, I should defend myself as a baseball fan. I typed uh, Dominican Republic and then it accepted Dominica as its own country, I believe, but then I didn't get, I didn't get 
Dominican Republic because of that, because I thought it got... You know what I mean? I thought I typed it already. So again, as a baseball person, I feel like I have to, you know, speak out for that. But yeah, if you're if you're from one of these countries that I didn't get, I mean, I'm sorry. You know, I'm very very sorry. Uh, hardest country uh, that I got uh, Tuvalu, which I think is like the what what is it about Tuvalu? There's something weird about it. Uh, Saint Vincent Grenadines, Guinea Bissau, Saint Kitts Nevis, Kurdistan, because that's just hard to spell. Gambia and Djibouti. So there you go. Countries of the world, 64% versus 67% for average. Thank you so much for watching this Sporkle video. Let me know how you did in the comments.